So just talk a little bit about like who got you into baseball. Um, just if, were there any players that inspired you growing up? Just talk a little bit about your background and what got you into sports and stuff. Well, I started playing when I was about five or six. You know, uh, I played the little league team and t-ball and stuff. I think my dad obviously had the biggest impact on my career through my whole life. Really, you know, he kind of taught me how to play and how to hit. And we'd go out and practice all the time, so he was a huge influence. And um, growing up, just kind of watch the game. You know, um, when I was a little kid. I'd watch the Mets. I, I liked pitchers back then, so I liked John Franco and uh, a couple other guys. But uh, yeah, you know, when you're a kid, you just enjoy playing. Now, what did you play in Queens? Because I know like there's limited spaces in New York to play. So where, where were you able to find fields? Where were you able to play? When I was really little, we used to play at um, Trogsnack, okay. under, under the Trogsnack Bridge. There's no. They made a new field there, but we used to play on, on a different field that doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Um, played in St. Luke's Schoolyard on cement. We played a lot uh, when I was little. And then the fields in Bayside at Crochron and uh, Cunningham Park and stuff like that. There was a lot, of, a lot of Little League games over there. And just talk about just like being in the minor leagues and being here now. Just um, just talk about your experiences, just what the, big, what the main differences have been so far, just overall. Yeah, I think the speed of the game is a little bit more on the major league side. Um, it's exciting being on the major league side, and I want to stay as long as I can. You just got to be consistent here. I think that's the name of it. I think that separates a lot of players. Uh, especially when you start watching the veterans play. I think they're able to do it every night, and it's a good lesson to learn as a younger guy in the league, and you just kind of want to replicate that. And has there been any of the veteran guys that you go up to and just say, you know, just try to pick their brains? And Yeah, these guys have been really welcoming. You know, um, I've really gotten to talk to Willie Harris a lot. I think we have a similar role on the team, kind of coming off the bench in a lot of pinch hitting situations. Um, Scotty Harrison played with him last year in San Diego, so we have a little relationship there. And uh, Jason Bay, he's been really welcoming. And really, all the guys, all the hitters, the older hitters on the team have been, you know, forthcoming and, and very helpful. And just talk about like, um, especially going back to the minor leagues. Just talk about like the coaches and stuff. Like, I know there are a ton of like, you know, Wally Backman and Ken and them. Uh, were they like helpful with just picking their brains, uh, with hitting and stuff like that? And yeah, well, um, with their experiences and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, when I got picked up by the Mets in July, I kind of bounced around. So I was in St. Lucie brief briefly, and then Buffalo, and uh, I got to know Tim Tuffle a little bit and uh, Mike Eastler, you know, so they were very helpful in kind of helping the transition to a new organization. And um, so they really helped bridge that gap and, you know, kind of prepared me for my opportunity here. And, and you know, I'll always be grateful for that and hopefully we'll take them, make, make the most advantage of that. And um, let's talk about like what it means, you know, you're from Queens, you know, you said you grew up watching the Mets. What does it mean for you to be able to step in here in this locker room to slip on that uniform on a daily basis? Yeah, it's really a dream come true to play for the Mets in New York, uh, to come home. It's just been a great experience and I'm really enjoying every minute of it. And just if uh, any young player came up to you and asked for advice on what it would be like to make it to the bigs, uh, would you have any for them? Um, I tell them to play a lot of sports when they're kids, you know, don't just focus on baseball when you're 10 and 12 and 15, you know, play as many sports as you can and uh, kind of develop athletically like that. And don't get upset, you know, if your path takes you in a direction you're not sure or you didn't plan on because my path has been a little circuitous and it's ended up where I wanted it to, but at points along it you're never quite sure that's, you know, the right path. But you don't know how it's going to turn out. So just go hard every day and practice. And, and how were you able to stay strong? Or how, what was able to keep you focused during the time you were saying with the path being hard and stuff like, what kept you hungry and what kept you focused and desired on? Yeah, I think just trying to improve every day and trying to you know be in the moment of the situation you're in, whether it's uh, at a high level or a level that you don't, you know, wherever you are, you know, if you attack every day and kind of approach it to improve your game and work on something that day, I think it'll keep you, you know, hungry in the sense that you're getting better every day and you're working towards a goal. And you said to play other sports, did you play you yourself play other sports? I played when basketball when I was a kid, you know, played basketball, some roller hockey and stuff, soccer, you know, I mean, when I was little. And then as you get older, you kind of fade them out. But I, if I can go back to high school, I would have played basketball more and, you know, try to try to do that. But I don't think there's any harm in that, you know. I think sometimes when you go out and play 100 games and you're 12 or 13, it might be a little too much, you know. I think there's seasons for a reason, so you got to play the sport that's in season and, you know, just enjoy it, be a kid. And, um, 
you know, just for the fans, do you have any message for them? You know, if, like, you had a chance to talk to them, uh, would you like to give them any message on the site? Or Yeah, I'd like to tell them thanks for the, the warm welcome. I, I really enjoyed coming home, and uh, I think I've been embraced well by the hometown crowd, and I really, really enjoy playing here, and I hope to stay here for a long time. And do you have any, like, favorite, I know it's been a short time so far, but, I mean, just a favorite experience thus far in the time that you've been here? I will remember the first game, you know, because yeah. we came back in that victory. Uh, I was able to get in and get a hit, and then we came back for a walk-off victory that night. Um, the game the other night against the Cardinals was incredible. Six runs in the ninth, Willie getting that hit. Uh, that's a game that you won't forget. It was a pretty wild night, but there's been a couple good experiences here, yeah. And what, what is it like traveling and stuff now, with, you know, here versus in the minor leagues it's got to be pretty amazing just to be able to see some like you know st louis and yeah we get to go to great spots um they do a great job here with that and it's been a lot of fun thank you for your time